Mr. Vilmos Hantos will talk about R&B clearing experience in plants, so it's very much connects to the, the, to the previous presentation, so I, I, I suggest that he would give the next presentation, and then, then, we, then we continue with Mr. Pataki. Thank you very much. So we changed the program in a, uh, a little bit uh, in order to be more logical in the, in the issues one after the other. Uh, my name is Vilmos Hantos, I'm from OTV Bank, uh, and I'm responsible for uh, clearing uh, issues in general in various currencies. Uh, we are ourselves a uh, clearing service provider, uh, probably the, the, the largest in Hungary, in Hungarian forests. So therefore, when we saw the liberalization of the uh, RMB on the international scene, on the cross-border transaction, it was very logical that we started to look into it, what we have to do and what uh, we should be offering for our clients. Especially after we have seen this uh, historic decision in June 2010 about the interna interna internalization of, uh, of Ramimbi. And uh, those days uh, it was even forecasted that uh, the currency will be a kind of world reserve currency. To a certain extent it is, but uh, maybe not to that extent uh, how it was expected. Uh, we were really amazed to see the fast growth uh, of the cross-border Ramimbi payment turnover worldwide, uh, practically from zero. Uh, I will speak about it later, that it was not, not really the case in, 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 in our experience. Uh, when we set up our strategy, our RMB clearing strategy, uh, the main uh, target for us was to be prepared for the needs of our customers. So we had to first uh, make the necessary arrangements to be able to quote RMB against Hungarian foreign. It was done relatively quickly. We do it even today. So if you look at our uh, rates, you can see the Remimbi quotations every day. And the next step was to develop a clearing product for our clients. But then we also had to consider who will be our target clients. And we realized that most of them could be or should be the small and medium-sized uh, companies especially those who are interested in business, active business with the People's Republic of China. But technically, uh, first we had to uh, make the necessary arrangements to open Nostro accounts in mainland China and uh, also uh, in, uh, in offshore hubs. Uh, the way we did it is, is quite ordinary in the clearing business. Uh, we just uh, sent out uh, requests for proposals for the five largest Chinese banks, ICBC, Agriculture Bank of China, Bank of China, Bank of Communications, and China Construction Bank. We were very cautious those days because we didn't have uh, too much experience in working with uh, Chinese banks, so therefore we also sent out this RFP to are some of our traditional clearing uh, partners, like uh, Standard Charter, JP Morgan, and so on. And uh, then our strategic decision was that we, we have chosen a local Chinese bank, ICBC, in mainland China, and we gave this mandate to Royal Bank of Scotland in Hong Kong for the offshore operations. Uh, Time went by, so it's, it was four years ago, so we are now seriously reconsidering this concept, but uh, that will be the issue for some individual talks with the respective banks. Uh, was our concept justified, or was, was, it, was it a good, good decision to, to, to open these accounts and, and set up a Remimbi strategy? Let's look at the accounts turnover. Unfortunately, the account turnover on both accounts are rather low. Volume of the Remimbi payments accounts for 1% of the total cross-border payments of OTP Bank. I have to apologize, but this was a very optimistic uh, figure there. It's even less than that. And the reason why it's incidentally there on this uh, slide, because there was a peak month last year 
when uh, some of our customers made a lot more in uh, transfers in much higher volumes than usual. But when we looked at it on a, on a longer time perspective, it turned out that the volume is not going up so, so much as we thought. So, uh, why is the turnover so low? Our clients' commercial contracts are still predominantly concluded in euros or dollars. And this is simply because of the tradition. This is what they are used to. This is what they have always been doing. That's a very simple explanation that we can hear in business pretty often, although it doesn't necessarily have to be rational. Uh, apparently, you can see the same in the, in the cross-border payments. Uh, then we thought about how could we boost volume of the cross-border RMB payments. First, we asked the clients why do not why don't they turn to Remimbi? And they said that they have concerns because of the regulation. The regulation for them is uh, more complicated or restrictive, I would say, because as we know, uh, payments in Remimbi to uh, mainland China have to be trade-related. And uh, of course, there are some other motivations when somebody wants to pay uh, amounts to, to China. Even those have concerns who have their payments trade-related because they say that if something went wrong with the documentation or if they are not accepted, then uh, amounts could be returned and that's a problem for them. Uh, we have a very, uh, for us maybe it's funny, it was not so funny for the client, but it, we have an example which I quoted here. One of our clients uh, uh, participated in a conference in Beijing and uh, he wanted to be generous and pay the participation fee in Remimbi, but it was returned because it was not trade-related. Uh, unfortunately, we have uh, various other examples like this, uh, but uh, as we are continuously informing our clients, uh, there are less and less like that. But on the other hand, if the regulation could be liberalized more, then such uh, cases uh, wouldn't be there anymore. Uh, I don't know if uh, uh, there's anybody here from the People's Bank of China, but if not, then I would like to ask you from the central bank to convey this message, because we would like to know and inform our clients about the further steps of liberalization of the, of the currency. Uh, here at the end, I, I'm raising another problem, uh, which I would call the double conversion. Uh, I think the Hungarian participants here perfectly know that uh, whatever currency we make a payment to a uh, beneficiary in another country, initially we have to make, by definition, we have to make a conversion because most of the accounts are denominated in Hungarian foreigns. So if it's a euro, euro transfer, then we start with the conversion. And this exchange rate is uh, known by the, by the customer. And here's a controversy because our clients who would have the interest or, or, uh, to, to use Remimbi, but they have reservations, concerns, what I told you in the, in the beginning, about the, the usage. So they, uh, they, they are afraid of using it because of the restrictions, uh, but they are losing uh, uh, costs on the, on, the, on the double conversion because foreign is converted into euros or dollars and then at the end of the payment chain, it is automatically uh, converted into Remimbi because as far as I know, there is an obligation of uh, converting all cross-border payments to Remimbi. Uh, clients have a very clear request uh, to avoid this double conversion and this is a very important issue that we would like to raise uh, to uh, the People's Bank of China uh, because we have discussed it with, with our account uh, keeping institutions, ICBC, and uh, we, we haven't found uh, the solution yet. But on the other hand, we greatly appreciate this uh, Remy B initiative uh, of uh, the National Bank of Hungary together with the People's Bank of China, because we believe that this will be a kind of event and uh, this will be a platform 
for communication, further communication, and we will be able to find solutions. And uh, in this way, we earnestly hope that uh, the RMB will be used much more than so far. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think uh, you have very well listed a number of challenges that the working groups forming uh, in this, uh, after this initiative should be able to solve, can put on the agenda. Thank you very much for this.